1987, me and my uh, friend, Tony, who's also my bass player in all the, most of the bands I was in, all the bands that I formed, there was one pre-band called Stiletto where we got our feet wet and, you know, learned the ins and outs of playing clubs and promoting and all that, which I learned from Molly Crew. And the other things I learned from Motley Crue. So, Tony also was a big fan of Motley Crue and also knew Nikki Six. After this pre-band stiletto, we br I broke it up because we were just uh, very bad. <laughs> but we knew what we were doing, and I was I was ready. I was good. <laughs> I was a good player, and he was good at bass, and his stage presence was great. So now we took the singer from Stiletto, who was actually a drummer, and put him back where he should have been, drums. We started practicing, just messing around. We go down to the Rainbow Bar and Grill, and I meet this guy from Germany. We'll just call him the guy from Germany. <laughs> he is exactly what I'm looking for, long, dark hair. Black hair, down here, you know, not your typical Hollywood glam looking guy. And I'm like, I said, hey, you, sit down. I go, you want to be famous? He goes, yes. Or actually sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger, yes. I go, look at you, then you join my band and I guarantee within two or three months we'll be famous. He goes, it's a deal. We shook hands. So I took him home, took him home to his place. I went home, called the bass player, went Tony, and said, I found our singer. We're gonna rehearse tomorrow. Great, so we all get together and we start rehearsing. Two weeks, we're trying to write songs, trying to get it together. It's not happening. And we can't figure it out, why? Because it seems that we all like each other. There seems to be something there, but something's blocking us. And we just didn't, we didn't want to go down the glam route like everybody, Poison and all those guys. And we weren't going to be the next striper, that's for sure. So I took a break and I went out behind the rehearsal studio. My friend Tony follows me. He goes, you know what we should do is we should uh, ask for help. I'm like, who? He goes, we should make a pentagram. I go, oh, that kind of help. He goes, yeah. I go, have you done that? He goes, yeah. I go, yeah, so have I. What, what was your result? And he goes, well, and he told me. And I'm like, then you do it. We'll do it. So we made a pentagram in the dirt in the backyard, put the candles at each point upside down, reverse pentagram. He said something. I think it was just babbling. And then he said, we need help from Satan, if that's what's gonna make us famous. Blew out the candles, walked back in. Within minutes, we'd written Trick or Treat, the name of the band. Then we wrote the next song, Hellfire, Bloodsucker, Night of the Wolf, all in one night. And we're like, what happened? They're wondering what happened. Me and Tony are like, what did we do? But we're doing it, so let's go. We booked a show. The next, we, when the, first we booked the showcase. Everybody said, you guys are great. You guys, you're gonna be huge. I go, you bet we're gonna be huge. We got a show next week, March 17th, Troubadour. Just so happens they were filming it with Ton Mastery. She had a show showcasing all the top bands in Hollywood. They showed us, it was our first show. From that TV show, we got booked for six months, every club in Hollywood. So we kept playing every club we could possibly get into and Capitol Records sent down two reps and wanted us to do one showcase for them. And they were gonna sign us to a million dollar contract 
ship us off to Japan with Motorhead, do a tour there, come back, finish the record, and go out on tour. Set. Singer never shows up. He was afraid because of the stuff that was uh, he could feel. I was mad. At the time, I didn't get it. But uh, he told me this, and he just told me this recently because he went on to go be in other bands and write songs called Call Me Devil. I'm like, Call Me Devil? Really, dude? And you were afraid of... But he goes, well, that's a different thing. I was very afraid of the... It seemed like there was a satanic force leading the band. I go, I think there was. He goes, and you weren't afraid? I go, I wasn't then, but I, you know, I go to church now. He goes, I know, that's good. I go, I was praying about it. I said, what would have happened if I had made it? And the answer was, me and Tony would have died of heroin overdose on the first tour. So, is it good? Yeah, it's good I didn't make it. Not in Trick or Treat. <laughs> and not in, in the other band was... You know, we, we're local fame. I mean, I still send pictures out to people that think I'm a rock star, but... I mean, I am a rock star. But uh, if the one trick-or-treat thing would have taken off, uh, me and Tony wouldn't, be, wouldn't have made it. And Tony is now gone, and I am back, and ready to do the Lord's work, because knowing that Satan is there and he gives his hand up so easy. I don't want to be on the losing team. I want to be on the winning team. And that's Jesus Christ, the Son of God.